let us do a solved example on the system of parallel plates now i'll write the question in the description of the uh, video let us say that we have two large plates a and b let us say we have two large plates these two large plates a and b and they are given charge 10 micro coulomb on this plate let us say this is plate a and this is b 10 micro coulomb on this and 20 micro coulombs on this plate now if area of each plate area of each plate is s let us say it is s then we have to find the charge distribution on all the surfaces 1 2 3 and 4 all four surfaces we have to find the charge distribution and let us say we have given three points x y and z so we'll find the electric field on these three points so first let us do the first part of the question to find the surface charge now we have already done in the previous video that in this kind of system the outer surfaces of both the plates will have same we will have equal and same charges so if we say that this surface has q1 charge this has q2 this is q3 and this has q4 then q1 and q4 will be equal and they will be equal to this as derived in the previous video so it will be equal to 15 micro coulomb so both q1 and q4 will have 15 micro coulomb now since this charge q1 is 15 micro coulomb and the overall charge on this plate is 10 that means this side should have minus 5 micro coulomb okay since this is minus 5 and the inner surfaces have equal but opposite charges so if this is minus 5 then then sh this should be plus 5 so q3 i'll write it here q2 will become minus 5 micro coulomb and q3 will become plus 5 micro coulomb if we see if this is 5 and that overall charge is 20 then this should be my this should be 15 micro coulombs so this we already got so it verifies our answer that whatever we are doing is correct so these are the values of q1 q2 q3 and q4 now let us come to the next part finding the electric field on these points x y z now on the left surface of b since the charge is this so we can directly use the formula e x which is equal to since x is on this side the charge here was q1 so we can write it the formula q1 upon s epsilon naught and if we put the signs uh, put the values then it will be 15 upon s epsilon naught and what will be the direction since it is a positive charge the direction will be this so we can write towards left similarly ey can be written as phi upon s epsilon naught since this is positive charge and this is negative charge so that means the electric field have this will have this direction so we can write towards left that is from b to a similarly ez which is on this point it can be written as 15 upon s epsilon naught and since this is the negative since this is the positive q4 was positive 15 coulomb so this direction electric field direction should be here so we can write towards right so this way this way we can find the charge densities or charge on the, all the surfaces and the resulting electric field in every direction